So we are going to look at the mathematical relationship between the lengths, right? Mathematical relationship between between length L sorry between frequency between frequency length tension and mass of a string a string instrument I'm sorry I'm not here with a guitar, but if you can look at your guitar critically, you will discover that the tension on the string is not the same. Some strings are more tensioned than the others. The length of the strings are not the same. The thickness of the strings are not the same. Some strings are thick some strings are thin. All these have mathematical relationship. And what is that relationship? The frequency of the string is inversely proportional to the length of the string. The frequency of the string is inversely proportional to the length of the string. I call it an equation star. The frequency of the string of the string is directly is inversely proportional to the length of the string. The frequency is directly proportional to the square root of the tension C the frequency is also uh, inversely proportional to the square root of the mass of the spring. You can call this the equation star star equation star star star. Frequency inversely proportional to this. What is the meaning of this? Very simple. I always tell my students that there's a topic in mathematics called variation. We have direct variation, inverse variation, joint variation, partial variation. All these topics, if you understand them very well, you will understand why we have equations in science. That topic, variation, is a topic that shows light on every equation in physics and in science in general. What do you mean of this? It means that increase in the length of the string or the spring will cause the frequency to increase. When the frequency of a playing instrument is increased, the pitch of that instrument will also increase. So increase in length will cause the frequency to increase and of course the pitch of the sound to increase. Decrease in the frequency will also what? decrease, I mean decrease in length will also cause a decrease in the frequency and has a decrease in the pitch. How about the tension? When you tension the guitar, you will also increase the frequency. It means that there are two ways of increasing, I mean three ways of increasing the frequency or decreasing the frequency of a guitar. Three ways of increasing the pitch and decreasing the pitch. One, by decreasing the length or by increasing the tension or by increasing the thickness, the square roots, I mean by decreasing the, the thickness of the square root of the mass. 
Decreasing the length will increase the frequency or the pitch. Increasing the tension will increase the frequency of the pitch and I mean we increase the frequency and the pitch of the, the string. And then decreasing the mass, the square root of the mass will cause what? The frequency to increase. If we combine all this together, this is what we have. If we combine all this together, we end up with F inversely proportional. So 1 all over L. And directly proportional to root T. Directly proportional to 1 all over root M. That is what you have here. And if you work it out, you're going to have your F is this. You have 1 all over L. You have a square root here, the square root of t divided by what? You can quite put it this way. You can say that this is inversely proportional to 1 all over L, the square root of t divided by the square root of n. So in summary, what do you have? You have your f is equal to what? Sorry, proportional to what? 1 all over L, the square root of tension all over what? Mass. You can call this equation number 3. Now we want to remove the sign of proportionality. We want to get away with this sign and introduce a constant. That constant is called K. K means the constant dependent on the mode of vibration of the spring, the string, or the pipe instrument. A constant depending on the mode of vibration. Is it vibration in one loop? Is it vibration in two loops, three loops, four loops, or n loops? So we say that your, our f is equal to what? k all over l, the roots of t, all of the roots of n. You can call this equation what? 4. This equation is very, 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 very important. Very, very very, very important. Are we good? You can screenshot this. So in summary, this is what we have. I can clear this right now. We have it that the mathematical relationship that exists between the, the frequency, the length, the tension, and the mass of restraint instruments is given as what? It's given as F is equal to K all over L, the roots of T over the roots of N. That is it. Where F is the frequency of the string, the spring or the pipe instrument, and K is the constant of proportionality that is dependent on the mode of vibration, and T is the tension of the string uh, and M is what? And M is what? Recall that pressure P is what? Force all over what? Area. If tension is if tension is uh, is for the strings and tension is measured in Newton's and F is in Newton. It means that F is equal to what? PA. So for the pipes instruments, the pipes, this equation can also be written as F is equal to what? K all over L. The root of what? PA over N. 
I, I, I have not seen this in any text book, but I'm, I believe there's an equation like this. You see the face of potential. Well, P is the pressure of the air molecules to the pipe. And M, let's say the mass of the air. And A, the area of the pipe. The surface area where the, the air molecules is flowing through. So I, I am free to write this equation this way. So I, I can say that this, you can call this equation 4, equation 5. This is for, for what? Pipe instrument. And this is for what? Spring or string instrument. From pressure P is pressure what? Force over area. And force is what? PE. So tension is in Newton. L is in Newton. So you are free to say that uh, PA is pressure what? Tension. Is that understood? So this is your force. Pressure times what? The surface area. Now, I want to explain this K, how it is used in calculating. How it is used in calculating. Recall that our fundamental mode of vibration, F0, is given as what? Is given as what? V all over 2L. All over 2L. If you work this thing out, you have something like, this also means 1 all over 2 times V all over L. This 1 all over 2 is actually the value for what? For this K. This 1 over 2 is actually the value for this K. So if we want to write the, this equation uh, for the spring, for the fundamental mode of vibration, this we can, can be written as what? F naught is equal to what? Is equal to what? 1 all over 2L. Or you can write as follows 1 over 2L into T over mass. T all over mass. Is that understood? That is that. So if we have for 2 F naught, what do we have? We have 2 times uh, V over 2 L. This will cancel this. What do you have? You have V all over L. We have what? We have V all over L. And if you want this in out, it's like 1 all over 1 times V all over L. So 1 all over 1 is the value for your k here. So how do we write this? So your 2f naught is what? Just 1 all over L is equal to what? T over what? N. So this is first harmonic, 0 over 2. Second harmonic, first over 2. How about the third harmonic? For the third harmonic, this is what you have. You have uh, three F naughts, which means three times V over two L. What I'm doing right now is for what I'm doing right now is for string and open pipes. Strings and open pipes. Do you understand? So if you want it out, we're gonna have something like three uh, V over two L. Which is set as 3 over 2 times V over L. So 3 over 2 is the value for the K. So you have what? Your you have your 3 F naught, meaning 3 all over 2 L, the roots of C all over N. Is that understood? So, in summary, this is what you have. You have 3F naught is equal to what? 3 over 2V, I mean over 2L, the root of T over N. And this is the same thing as what? Second over 2. Second over 2. You can actually replicate that also here. Where you're having your 
your your f naught will be equal to l over 2l the root of t the root of p a over n you have 2l 2f naught is equal to uh, is equal to this is one is equal to one over l the root of of uh, p a over n and then you have three f f naught is equal to three over two l the root of p a over n so this is uh, zero over two this is first over two this is what second uh, second over two I want to quickly touch what we call linear density here before I wrap, wrap it up. Linear density. I will tend to claim this. Linear density is defined as mass a unit length. In this topic, you will meet some questions where you will ask to calculate the linear density of a string given that the tension is that and the mass is that. So linear density, linear density. Let me clean this and write it well. We have our f uh, is equal to 1 all over l, k all over l, the root, the root of t over m for strings and open pipes. For strings, yeah, for strings, for strings, for strings. And also uh, open pipe. So we have F is equal to K over L uh, roots. Power, I mean pressure times area all over mass. Yes. So we want to look at linear mass density. Linear, linear mass. Density. Uh, the symbol mu. Linear mass density mu is given as what? Mass per what? Unit length. And the unit is what? Kilogram per meter. This. This is linear mass density. So if linear mass density is mass per unit length, it means that mass is equal to what? Linear mass density times unit length. So this equation can be written as as this. As your F is equal to K all over L K all over L the root of C all over what? Mu L where mu is called the linear mass density. To this, we have come to, okay, let's put this again, f is equal to k all over l, uh, the roots of pressure times, times area all over mu l. Yes. To this, we have come to the end of today's video. I am tired, I intend to go and rest. Please share this video. Share them to the public. Share them to schools. Share them to students who are preparing for their work. Everything I'm doing in this video is to touch very, very important areas where I keep seeing wire questions almost every year. The next video you will see on Soundwave will be purely calculations. Because I have taught this. I am free to do calculations in the other topics without explanation. See you next time. Stay safe. Stay blessed. God bless you. Bye-bye.